Hey everybody, it's James Patrick Stewart. It's Friday, it's the 9th of June, coming to you from my car. I know some people actually get concerned about me when they see me reading from my car. I travel a lot, I do a lot of driving. You don't have to be concerned about me. I'm heading from the Eastern Sierras where I've been skiing a little bit this week and I'm heading home. And uh, you know, it's a notoriously dead cell spot in this stretch of land and I just past a cell tower, so I decided I'd stop and read you a story. This is a funny one. This is Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam, a couple of dog robbers who uh, can't seem to get anything right. This is written by Tracy Corduroy and illustrated by Stephen Lenton, and it goes like this. In the dead of night, when the moon yawned down, two gloomy robber dogs plodded through town. They got to the house and they flopped down inside. We're no good at robbing at all, Shifty sighed. He tipped out their swag bag, but nothing was there, except for a spider who gave them a scare. You're right, muttered Sam. We're bad at this job. Just think of the places that we couldn't rob. The bank and the butchers, the paper shop too, the bookshop, the bike shop, and even the zoo. Hey, we should rob someone less tricky, Sam cried. Like where? muttered Shifty. Where haven't we tried? Our neighbors, yelled Sam with a whoop and a shout. But hang on, groaned Shifty. They never go out. Then he thought for a moment. I know what we'll do. We'll throw a tea party tomorrow or two. And then when the neighbors are here having fun, we'll sneak in their houses and rob everyone. The parties have food, grumbled Sam. We can't cook. Don't worry, said Shifty. I got this cookbook. And they started with donuts, and to their surprise, they turned out just right. So they cooked some fruit pies. Now cupcakes, cried Shifty, and let's frost them too. I never knew baking was fun, Sam, did you? And the party day came, the neighbors piled in. How lovely, said one with a big curly grin. They gasped with delight as the food was set down. So creamy, so dreamy, the best buns in town. Why, thank you, said Shifty. It's nothing, smiled Sam. Would you care for a donut with raspberry jam? Now's our moment, his Shifty. They're all drinking tea. We need to get robbing right now. Follow me. And as they sneaked through the window, they hadn't a clue that a neighbor had heard what they wanted to do. They're thieves, he said crossly. I think that it's time that we all put a stop to this terrible crime. As the robber dogs went to see what they could find, all of their neighbors were creeping behind. Oh, wow, whispered Sam as they slunk through a door. They'd never seen so many goodies before. Then all of a sudden the door opened wide. No, you don't, yelled the neighbors, bursting inside. But the Scotty dog suddenly started to sob. My teddy, he sniffled. They stole Big Ear Bob. Don't cry, pleaded Shifty. And Sam turned quite pink. We're sorry, they murmured. We just didn't think. We see now that robbing makes everyone sad, but we still need a job, just a job that's not bad. Well, I know cried a sausage dog, nodding his head. Why don't you open a cafe instead? A cafe, gasped Shifty. You think that we could? Oh, yes, cried the others. You'd really be good. It's 
So the very next week, on the town's busy street, their new cafe opened, all shiny and neat. It had white polished tables and chairs with pink hearts, and it served yummy cupcakes and little jam tarts. Oh, wow, Sam cried Shifty. Just look at the crowd. Our neighbors are here. Why, I feel quite proud. And Sam peered for the window and fluffed off his hat. No more robbing. We're all done with that. Now Shifty and Sam never grumble or groan. They love baking cakes and leave crime alone. And as for their swag bag, I'm happy to say they crumpled it up. They chucked it away. Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam. There you go. I'm going home. Sweet dreams, everybody.